There are a couple of structures to implement ads in a game, like Apodil and Unity Ads. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to implement Unity Ads in a game. First of all, open up the Unity website. Create an account, or if you already have one, log in here. Since I have an account from before, I click on Sign and enter my account information. Then it will send an email verification code, which I will paste here. After you have entered your information, come back to the Unity website, click on this option, and then Dashboard. On this page, again click Sign In. You can see your account information here. Up here, you can see the pre-created projects. Click Create Project. Here, write your project's name. If your game is for kids below 13, set this option to Yes, to show them kids related ads. Otherwise, set it to No. Finally, click Create Project. From this corner, select Monetization. Wait till new page opens. And now, click on Get Started. Here, it tells you what mediation you want to use. I choose the right option, which is I only want to use Unity Ads. Now press Next. In this page, it asks if you want to use your previous project settings. Select No. Then click Next. Now on this page, if your game is published, you can enter its URL in this section. If it is not published, select the right option and click Add Project. On this screen, it gives you two codes which we'll need later. Well, now before entering Unity, there is another option called Add Unit. Click on it. On this page, you can see different ads it has created. For example, it is for Android, it's for iOS, it's manner type, it's watch a movie then give a reward type of ads, anything. These IDs are important. For now, all work is done here. Let's go to Unity. Before you enter Unity, make sure to log into your Unity Hub account. My Unity version is 2022-124-F1. It's possible that your version is different, but in general, what we do is the same. So up here, click on Window, General, Services. On this page, you should install the advertisement package, so select and install it. I did it before. After that, click on Edit and then Project Settings. From this side, under the Services subcategories, select Ads. Because we built a project before, select the lower option. In Organization, select your account. And for Project, select a defined project which for me is called Final Test. Now click Link Project ID and then Yes. Wait a bit till it connects. Now here it shows created in website game ID. Let's go for ads. I want to create a button that when I clicked shows an ad to me. As you saw and learned in previous lectures, create a button. We need two scripts, one for initializing ads and another one for loading and displaying. So create these two scripts. Create an object called ads and assign both scripts to it. For the initialization script, go to this link. Here is the complete code, copy it and paste it into the created script. Remember to change the class name to your script's name. Don't forget that, it's very very important. Next script is for the ads we want to implement. Again, from this link, you can implement any ad you want. I want to implement rewarded ads in Unity, which means it shows the ad and then gives the reward. So copy the whole code and paste it into the second script. Again, remember to change the class name to the script's name. Let's go to the scripts. In the initialize script, we have a couple of parts. In the upper section, it initializes. If it succeeds, this void runs. And if it fails to initialize, the lower section executes. After success, it should load the ad in the other script. Here. So we should access it somehow. Define the script name as public and assign another name called ads. Now in this void, where advertisement initialized successfully, write ads.loadAd until the ads get loaded. Let's go to the ads script. We have a button, two ID strings, which are the ones we got from the website. 
in line 22 disables the button. In the load ad void, loads ads. This void runs after ads have loaded successfully. Show ad void is the most important. When we call it, it displays the ad. Now if the ads displayed successfully and we wanted to give the reward to the user, we should do it here. For example, coins or any other stuff. If we had problems loading ads, this void runs, and if a problem occurs in the displaying void, another void runs. Come back to Unity. The Android Game ID is the given Android Game ID by the website. We can copy it from Edit, Project Settings, Ads section. Assign the button to the defined button in the script and assign the add script to the ads. And lastly, select the button, click this plus, assign ads to it, and from ads script, choose show ad void. Let's go for test. First play. First, the button is deactivated. Ads initialized. Then adds load. Then the button activates. Now I can click on it. If you do all the steps correctly, this page will display to you. Finally, remember, when you got the license key from Google Play, in your Unity panel, select the project and enter the license here. Thanks for watching.